Opportunities come in frequently. When it rains gold, put out the bucket, not the thimble. These words, spoken by the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett, encapsulate the essence of what you're about to discover in this journey to financial success. Welcome to a world where we dare to be different, where we challenge the status quo, and where we walk the road less traveled on the path to wealth. In a realm dominated by get-rich-quick schemes and trendy investments, we're here to unveil the contrarian strategies that may shock you at first, but have the potential to transform your financial future. Are you ready to learn why ignoring the hype, embracing boredom in investing, and focusing on value over price can be your keys to building lasting wealth? Join us as we explore seven unconventional wealth building tips, backed by real data and the wisdom of successful entrepreneurs and investors. In each chapter, we'll peel back the layers of these contrarian strategies, providing you with insights, facts, and stories that will challenge your preconceptions about money and wealth. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting on your financial journey, these principles offer a fresh perspective on how to secure your financial future. So, fasten your seatbelt, open your mind, and get ready to embark on a journey that will forever change the way you think about wealth building. The road less traveled awaits, and the rewards are beyond your wildest dreams. Chapter 1. Ignore the Hype In today's fast-paced world of finance, it's easy to get caught up in the hype surrounding the latest hot stocks and cryptocurrencies. The headlines scream about overnight millionaires, but here's a reality check. Chasing after these trends can often lead to financial pitfalls. Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors of all time, once said, The stock market is designed to transfer money from the active to the patient. This wisdom reflects the contrarian strategy of ignoring the hype. Let's break it down. While those trendy investments might offer short-lived excitement, they often lack the solid fundamentals that ensure long-term success. Instead, Consider the timeless approach of looking for investments with a strong foundation, like companies with solid financials and a history of steady growth. The data backs this up. A study by Dalbar Inc. found that over a 20-year period, the average equity investor earned just 5.29% annually, while the S&P 500 index delivered 9.22%. Why the difference? Emotional reactions to market hype often lead to buying high and selling low, the exact opposite of what successful investing entails. So, embrace the contrarian mindset and focus on the fundamentals. When everyone else is chasing the latest fad, you can calmly build your wealth on a solid foundation that stands the test of time. Chapter 2. Embrace Boredom in Investing Now let's talk about embracing boredom in your investment choices. It might sound unexciting, but there's a hidden gem of wisdom here. Legendary investor Charlie Munger once said, The big money is not in the buying and selling, but in the waiting. This quote embodies the essence of contrarian investing, seeking long-term gains rather than quick thrills. Consider this. While high-risk, high-reward investments can offer a rush, they also come with the potential for significant losses. On the flip side, Boring investments, such as index funds or stable industries like utilities, may not provide heart-pounding excitement, but they often deliver steady, compounding gains over time. The data supports this approach as well. According to a study by JP Morgan, missing just a few of the best trading days in the market can dramatically reduce your overall returns. This highlights the importance of a steady, boring investment strategy. So. Next time you're tempted to chase the latest hot stock, remember that sometimes the most profitable path is the one that doesn't make headlines. Embrace the boredom and let your wealth quietly grow in the background while others chase after fleeting excitement. Chapter 3. Buy During Panic, Not Excitement Now let's dive into a strategy that goes against our natural instincts. Buying during panic instead of excitement. It may sound counterintuitive, but history has shown that this approach can be a game-changer for wealth building. The legendary investor Warren Buffett famously said, Be fearful when others are greedy, and greedy when others are fearful. This contrarian wisdom emphasizes the importance of going against the crowd. Here's a fascinating fact. During the Great Recession of 2008, while many were selling in panic, Buffett invested $5 billion in Goldman Sachs, a move that turned out to be incredibly profitable. He recognized that crisis often presents opportunities, 
and buying when others are fearful can lead to substantial gains. Data also supports this strategy. A study by BlackRock found that investors who stayed invested during market downturns often saw their portfolios recover and grow significantly in the years that followed. On the other hand, those who panicked and sold missed out on the rebound. So remember, when the markets are in turmoil and everyone is rushing to sell, it might be the ideal time to buy quality assets at discounted prices. It takes courage, but it's a contrarian approach that has stood the test of time. Chapter 4. Focus on value, not price. Let's shift our focus to a key principle of contrarian wealth building, prioritizing value over price. It's a strategy that separates savvy investors from the crowd. The renowned investor Benjamin Graham, known as the father of value investing, once said, The stock market is filled with individuals who know the price of everything but the value of nothing. This insight underlines the essence of this contrarian approach. Consider this. A stock with a low price may seem like a bargain, but it's essential to evaluate whether it represents genuine value. A high-quality company with growth potential may have a higher price tag, but it can still be an excellent value investment. A study by Aswath Damodaran, a finance professor at NYU, found that stocks with low price-to-earnings ratios (PE) didn't always outperform higher PE stocks. It's a testament to the fact that price alone doesn't determine value. So, when assessing investments, don't be swayed by low prices alone. Instead, focus on understanding the intrinsic value of the asset, which considers factors like growth potential, earnings, and industry trends. This contrarian approach can lead to smarter investment decisions and better long-term results. Chapter 5. Prioritize Financial Defense in the world of wealth building, everyone talks about making more money. But what if we told you that protecting what you have is equally, if not more, important? This is the essence of the contrarian strategy we'll explore in this chapter. Prioritizing financial defense. The well-known investor and author, Robert Kiyosaki, once stated, It's not how much money you make, but how much money you keep, how hard it works for you, and how many generations you keep it for. These words underscore the significance of this approach. Consider this data. A survey by Bankrate found that only 39% of Americans could cover an unexpected $1,000 expense from their savings. This highlights the vulnerability many people face without a robust financial defense. So, what does financial defense entail? It means having a solid emergency fund, being adequately insured, and maintaining a well-structured budget. These are the shields that protect your financial castle from unexpected storms. Did you know that having an emergency fund can help prevent resorting to high-interest debt during financial crises? It's like having a financial safety net. And insurance, whether it's health, auto, or home insurance, can shield you from massive financial setbacks. Budgeting might not sound exciting, but it's a powerful tool for managing your money wisely. A study by the National Foundation for Credit Counseling found that 80% of Americans believe that budgeting is essential for financial success. In a world where flashy investment strategies often steal the spotlight, prioritizing financial defense might not make headlines, but it's a crucial part of building and preserving wealth. Chapter 6. Use Debt Strategically Debt. It's a word that often sends shivers down our spines. But what if we told you that debt, when used strategically, can actually be a potent tool for wealth building? It's time to debunk the myth that all debt is bad in this chapter. The renowned investor George S. Clayson, in his book The Richest Man in Babylon, said, Make thy gold multiply. One way to do this is by leveraging low-interest debt for investments that have the potential to yield higher returns. Consider this surprising fact. Real estate moguls like Donald Trump, before his presidency, and Robert Kiyosaki, have used strategic debt to build their vast fortunes. They borrowed money at low interest rates to invest in income-generating properties, allowing them to multiply their wealth. Another example comes from the world of business. Companies often take on debt to finance growth opportunities. They understand that borrowing at low rates to fund projects that promise higher returns can be a winning formula. Of course, using debt strategically requires caution and financial expertise. It's not about accumulating debt haphazardly, but rather making calculated decisions based on potential returns and risk management. So, the next time you hear someone demonize all forms of debt, remember that not all debts are created equal. 
When used wisely, debt can be a powerful wealth-building tool that propels you toward financial success. Chapter 7. Focus on your health. Now in our last chapter, we'll unveil a surprising yet essential contrarian wealth-building tip. Focusing on your health. You might wonder how health connects with wealth, but the link is stronger than you might think. Benjamin Franklin, one of America's founding fathers and a successful entrepreneur, famously said, An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. This wisdom extends beyond health. It applies to your financial well-being, too. Consider this compelling data. A study by the American Psychological Association found that financial stress can lead to a myriad of health problems, including heart disease, high blood pressure, and anxiety. It's a stark reminder of the profound impact financial stress can have on your physical and mental health. But here's the flip side. Good health can lead to higher productivity and fewer medical expenses. A study published in the journal Health Affairs revealed that healthier individuals tend to have lower health care costs, which can translate to more money in your pocket. Moreover, maintaining your health can extend your working years, allowing you to continue earning and saving for a more extended period. It's like having an extended runway for your wealth-building journey. Think about it. When you're healthy, you're more likely to excel in your career, start successful businesses, and stay active well into retirement. All of these factors can significantly impact your financial well-being. So, don't underestimate the importance of taking care of your physical and mental health. It's not just about living longer, it's about living better and building wealth that lasts.